6 in the morning, so we're heading to um, Centennial Park for the park run. In uh, Rand, uh, just where well, is in Randwick, we're in the centre of Randwick, we're just heading out there on the bus at the moment. So, uh, 7 o'clock start for the race. In, uh, a couple of them are in the Sydney area, the rest are at 8 o'clock. Um, I'm assuming it's just to clear out the way of the park, all the other park users, particularly the horses. So, uh, anyway, we've got about a uh, 25 minute bus walk to the start. There we are, so we're actually in the park. We're actually in the park now. Can't see me, but here we are. So we've got about a 10 minute walk to the start. Nice and dark. And, uh, so this is, the, this is the start point for the Centennial Park Run. Matt and Deb just doing the, uh, the second funnel. So, uh, there's Martin over there, he's the RD, he's also the event director for Centennial as well. So you see it's just starting, sunrise is at 7 o'clock, so it'll be at the start of the, the race. And um, whereas dusk is, oh, it's just past, about five minutes past dusk. So the volunteers gathering, so quite a few marshals uh, needed around the course. We've got horses and all sorts of so members of the public. Fleet. So it's a pretty much trail, got some trail for this course. It's a great day now, never been noticing it rain so much. Thanks Marshall, Thanks. Oh, I'm straight through the middle, bugger it. Turn here, first out one back, run back, close to the start and then come back along here. Just the fast runners, we've already done the out and back. Bigger numbers going through now. It's the first turnaround. You turn. That's at 1.3k.
Thanks a lot. Cheers. Now we're going to go back onto the, the main loop again. They are well stretched out now. You see that next left turn we do and out on the back and then all the way back to the finish back along the same trail so it's about 14 degrees it is uh, after all July so it's July the 6th and uh, right in the middle of the Aussie winter so pretty reasonable very reasonable for running now left turn and out and back again there's a number one runner flying through he was quick and smooth he's well in the lead here comes the second place guy well done great running The other one, this is the Spruce Goose Cafe, I think it is. It's where we'll come back to for drinks afterwards. I think that's the right one. Number one. Anyhow, there's the second turn around. turn leg back the way we came to start with so I'm at three and uh, 3.75 kilometers so just over a K to go not feeling too bad really considering it was less than 48 hours from traveling for 24 hours two very long flights to get here so Taking it nice and easy today. He's hero. Thanks again, see you at the finish. Black swans. Oh, just missed the Kukubara. Going a bit crazy in the trees. There he is. Thanks again. Have you had any horses this morning? <laughs> no horses. No, all right. So that's the horse crossing. The muddy bits that were holding everybody up at the start but where I come from itching park run that's normal that sort of mud well just about dried up in the last couple of weeks here we are back at the oval there's the finish that's all right now Okay, is everybody gathered? At the finish, almost look like they're ready to go off again. <laughs> Thanks guys, well cheers. It. 32 and 48 seconds so under 33 but given my jet lag I'm very happy with that long funnel 
see it a bit better than when we helped this morning in the, in the dark. Tokens. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, 143. It's not bad. So quite a long funnel here. Uh, so obviously sometimes they get huge numbers. I think they've had quite a lot today, but they can get 500 here. Depends on the weather. So Martin was saying. So I noticed last week it's just over 200. Week before it's like 80 something. He says where well, it's all about the we 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 weather. When it's raining, they get a lower turnout in the winter. So reasons. Also, it starts at seven o'clock, so it's a good early start, and that's just a stipulation of this park here. Uh, that's uh, used to be eight o'clock before pandemic, and then uh, I think in 2019 or something they changed to seven o'clock. So it's all about getting the, the uh, permissions of the landowners really. So you, you do these things, but no, brilliant turnout, lovely run, nice to do a trail. I've got some little bit of mud on my shoes so I've got some tra trail street cred so uh, yeah it's good there's a load of volunteers young volunteers they're doing their Duke of Edinburgh awards and then, uh, there's everybody just the scanners just getting their results in and the uh, timekeepers uploading their results so um, yeah it's going to just start to do the uh, close down there